Welcome back everyone! Cat Heart here from Little Piece of Heart. I am here today, as you can see, back at the bar, and I am so excited to share with you my low carb margarita. Now this is great. This is not only great if you are watching your carbs, it is great because you're making it at home and you're controlling all of the ingredients that go in. Everything is simple, no preservatives, not a lot of sugar, not a lot of carbs. So it's really, really refreshing drink that you can enjoy all throughout the summer and even in the winter if you're having some Mexican food and you're craving a margarita. You, could all, you can make this all at home. So let's get started by showing you some of the ingredients I'm gonna be using. I have a couple different slices of lime here and I'm gonna show you how I use each one. You'll see as we go along. I have some pure orange extract here, which orange extract is really great because it takes place of the zest of an orange or the juice of an orange. It's all in a bottle ready for you to use. So it's a really great product. Very low on carbs too. We also have, what I like to use is the Skinny Girl brand of Stevia extract. Now this stuff is great because once you pop the top, you have a little squirt bottle here. We're gonna use one tiny squirt, which is equivalent to almost nothing, but it's liquid. We can't put, um, you know, real sugar in here or even like a Truvia or Stevia because it's not going to dissolve into a cold drink. So we want to use something with liquid. Use your favorite liquid sweetener, whatever, it's up to you. Just if you're watching your carbs, that's where you would kind of control the carbs. We need a little bit of seltzer to top it off at the end. And we also need some ice, what I have here, a shaker, some tequila. Now this is actually a really cool bottle of tequila that Jason and I got on our honeymoon. And as you can see, sad face, it's almost done. I guess that means we'll have to go back to Mexico. I wouldn't mind that, get some more. I'm using one shot today. This is kind of, um, you know, this is just strong enough for me. It's gonna be in a small rocks glass like this. So, I mean, you can, you can certainly, some chow for, you can certainly, you know, add more. It just means that you're going to be using less seltzer at the end to top it off, but it's totally up to you. However strong you like your drinks, that's fine. Now, whenever I used to make these drinks at home, I felt like I got a lot of salt in the bottom of the glass before I even mixed the drink when I was putting the ice in because you're gonna wanna rim your glass with coarse salt before you put your ice in, obviously, because you think you wanna go like this and dump it, in, dump it in. But what I find is that I take a little piece of lime like this, just the end, and then I cut it in half, and I'm gonna run it around the outside of the glass, right on top. It doesn't matter if you go on the inside or not because I'll show you why. We don't need to, um, we're not going to dunk it in like this because I feel like too much salt gets on the inside. So what I like to do is just go right around the outside. You can skip this step too. Some people don't like salt. I do. So does Jay. So that's why I'm just going to rim the entire glass. There we go. And see, you don't really have much on the inside, maybe a couple stragglers, I mean, but the majority of it is around the outside of the rim. I missed a big chunk right there. So then, when we go and add our ice in, you're not catching a lot of the salt on the inside and having it fall into the bottom of the glass. So, there we go. Just wanna put quite a few ice cubes in there. And then, we're gonna start with our shaker. Now, this thing is great. If you don't have this, you know, you can use two, two glasses put together, it's fine. You can make do with what you have. I have a couple of these, so. I'm gonna put about four or five ice cubes in here, and then we're gonna get started with assembling the drink. Get this salt out of the way. Alrighty. So, we're going to take our tequila. This is one shot of tequila, and it goes. So next we're gonna add in some fresh squeezed lime juice. If you don't have fresh limes or, you know, they sometimes get expensive. I don't know what the, sometimes they're cheap as anything and then sometimes they literally are like three for three dollars, which I think is a crazy rip off. But um, if you don't have that, just buy bottles, it's fine. Fresh is always best, but lime juice in a bottle is, you know, is a great substitute. Okay. So we did one whole lime in there, pretty juicy. Great, all right. So then we want to take our orange extract. Now this is a great thing and it's right um, by the spices, by the vanilla. We're only gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon so it's not a lot but you'll find that it, this amount of it really just, I don't know, it kind of just mixes with the lime juice and the tequila and you barely even know that there's orange in it but it does something to it. It really, you really need it. So try not to leave this out unless you absolutely have to. Okay, we got that in there. Then, our liquid sugar. This is liquid stevia. The only thing I use is Truvia or stevia. That's it. I don't use any other kind of sugars. We're going to watch just how 
how much I use in here. It's almost nothing. Did you miss it? <laughs> if you looked away just then, you missed it. It's literally squirt, that's it. And it's great because it comes in this little packet. I carry this in my purse with me, use it to put in iced tea and coffee. It's, it's great, a few dollars. It's totally worth it. Okay, so we wanna put our lid on and that's it. <laughs> that's all the ingredients. You're gonna be really surprised though at how much flavor this has and how much you're not missing, you know, some of the other traditional ingredients. You're not missing a margarita mix, nothing. Don't bother with that. Use fresh ingredients and believe me, you won't be surprised. Shake this good. You want everything to mix together. Perfect. All getting cold on the outside. That is what we want. But wait, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. There we go. Perfect. See? It's going to strain everything out. I'm going to pour that right in there. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to top this off with some plain seltzer water. Go ahead and use flavored if you have lemon or lime. I'm sure that would be great. I'm just going to use plain today. And I want to bring it right up to right underneath the salt line. Perfect. Look how great that looks. There we go. Okay. I'm going to give this one little mix just to get the seltzer to the bottom. Great. And then the last piece of lime that I have waiting for me is this guy. And I cut a little slit in it just to make it a little fancy. And we are going to put it right there. Look at that. Gorgeous in a glass right here, I'm telling you. Already smells amazing. Let's see, get a little salt on there. Mmm. Hits the spot, I'm telling you. Hits the spot. This is perfect. <laughs> perfect. You saw what went in here. This tastes just as good as a restaurant margarita. I know exactly what went in it. I used fresh ingredients, simple ingredients, and I'm saving myself a boatload of calories, a boatload of carbs, a boatload of sugars, too. Just remember that. You can take any recipe out there and tailor it to you, to whatever your diet preferences are. Mine happens to be low carb, but I'm not going to give up my alcohol. I'm not going to give up my drinks, especially when I'm craving something. You know, I'm not going to eat a margarita, drink a margarita every day, but if I'm making taco salads and I feel like a margarita or Jay does, it's the perfect accompaniment, I'm telling you. For this recipe and more, go to my blog, Little Piece of Heart. It will be there. It will be there with the exact measurements. If you liked this video, if you want to see more cocktails, give me some ideas in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my blog so you never miss another recipe that I post on here. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully back at the bar, because that's my happy place.